in this field uh, we tried a new experiment because this is not being done in our village right here here people used to grow only the wheat and uh, maize only two crops this season the whole year we try to grow garlic with this plastic mulch and uh, drip tape installed in it because we are facing some water supply issues uh, that's why we are using a on water which we use for our home, home consumption which is basically used in our home is helping us to grow this garlic when we mulch it with the plastic we will come to see and face a lot many problems uh, because we ourselves are also doing the experiment so here you can see the plastic is being raised like this part is basically not raised it is our garlic trying to come out of the plastic so we have to take it out this is what we have to be careful because here is the basic problem your plastic is loose your mulch it's loose here you can see it's properly tight no problem in the germination or the leaves coming or popping out of it here if your plastic is loose your mulch is not properly spread you'll have to face this thing so a lot many other places need to be seen properly okay the basic purpose of this sheet is controlling weed but here you can see some of the plants other than garlic are growing so we have to take them out it is nip the evil in the butt rip the evil in the butt or nip the evil in the butt uh, in this field we did not add any chemical fertilizers it's all going organic it's uh, been treated with only two trolleys of uh, cow dung or the buffalo dung you can say the buffalo or cow's manure dried one and uh, one trolley or 29 bags of uh, chicken manure which we got from our local farms the winter has started this plastic is being affected by uh, the what you call it the heavy rains the really heavy snowballs that was not snow basically I just forgot the English name of it what you call it the uh, big hard balls of snow they came along with the rain yesterday and they pinched the hole in the whole sheet of ours so it can be found not a lot of damage but still it left its after effects uh, even after putting it into the field I feel like if we had the straw mulch it was much better than this one because uh, you do not have to be careful about this kind of uh, heavy rains or the storms thunders or uh, animals walking on your beds because this is the local village uh, you can see this boundary which which is kind of temporary boundary just stopping the hogs uh, the pigs uh, goats cows buffaloes you can find one cow right there can you see the swinging tail yeah so sometimes they come up here enjoying their meal grazing in these fields Oh, we got another one there. So, they cause the damage. But in straw mulch, you need not worry about that thing. Because straw mulch, if they'll step up on that, uh, they might just destroy a little bit of your wedgies. But not the... She, not this thing. Okay, on this side of our beds, this place was empty it's like a 
5 by 30 5 by 30 feet so we had some of the homegrown seeds of uh, onion so we made these straight parallel lines you can hardly find them and this uh, and this, those seeds, those onion seeds are planted in them. We tried soaked air. I actually, we tried water this piece of uh, land through drips. Uh, we spent like uh, three hours, uh, three to four hours on the local motor of water, but it didn't happen to give it such a nice uh muddy feel which you can find right here but what happened the next day i told you was the rain exactly the next night the same night the rain came in and it made us happy on this side but this side it's also happy it's also happy we need to be thankful for the rain because it was much needed drip is doing really good I'm not against the drip tape. Drip tape is doing its best, but the thing is, we don't have the capacity of uh, much capacity of water. And uh, the second thing is the electric power, which is being supplied at our homes locally, is not that sufficient. Okay, we have to listen. There's an announcement in the village. It says someone died. And the funeral is around 4 p.m. in the evening. So this is the part of the life. We all have to go one day. So today was Nasir Khan's turn. So Hasrat Ali is there. Barakat Awe Ji. Surah Na Kesi Na. Sahi. Kethe Manzar? Moti is on the walk. Here comes Moti. Moti is one of the fighting bulls in our neighborhood. He is a Pakistani gultair. You can see his ribs because they keep the dogs with zero fats, which help the dog fight best. 